It's shorted out, sir. We're gonna have to phaser it. Then what are you waiting for? Right away, sir. Faster <sighs> would be better, Henderson. I can't, sir. We don't want to... That's enough. But, sir... Stand aside, Carlton. I'm going through. You're alive. Good. Odo to Cisco. Go ahead. I'm on board the Orinoco, Captain. The automatic safety systems have failed. Envoy Bannock? Appears uninjured. I'm initiating emergency shutdown procedures. Hurry, Constable. You've got eight minutes before the IPS overloads. I don't want any more fireworks today. Neither do I, Captain. Odo out. Envoy, if you're able to stand, I could use your help. The damage from the storm must have fractured a plasma conduit. We've got to shut down the main power relay before it overloads and floods this compartment with radiation. Hi everyone and welcome to another walkthrough. I'm Boomer. Uh, this time I'm doing Star Trek Deep Space Nine Harbinger, a um, first person adventure game released by Stormfront Studios in about 1997. And it was a game that basically got pretty badly uh, received um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it did have quite a few design flaws which I will go into and um, secondly the fact that it basically followed on from Star Trek A Final Unity which if you have any interest whatsoever in Star Trek gaming know that uh, that was pretty much the pinnacle of how good any of the games got so it essentially got a rough ride but I kind of enjoy the game, so I thought I'd walk through it. Basic background, we're an alien from a uh, passive diplomatic race, and we've crashed on DS9. <laughs> the damage to the ship? It wasn't the plasma storm. Not the plasma storm? Then... Whatever caused it, we've got to shut these systems down now. How can I help you? I think I can realign the plasma coil from here if you can repair the damage to the main propulsion grid. How should I access the grid? To your left, you'll see a panel marked Main Propulsion. There should be an alert flashing. You'll need to get inside the panel to vent off the plasma and replace the damaged chips. Okay, I'll find it. Well, basically, this is how the uh, movement works. Uh, it's not free-flowing like a uh, standard uh, first-person shooter is. Warning. Uncontained plasma in Conduit B. But, um... It's very similar to mist, apparently. Plasma okay, conduit sealed. Uh, basically, at this point, we can notice there's damage to the chips, Reactive so we just need to online. replace them. Reactant injectors back online. Fairly easy. Uh, Monitoring systems offline. Puzzle to get you into the game. Monitoring systems back online. Plasma injectors offline. Plasma injectors back online. Automatic safety systems back online. Shutdown completed. Basically, we figure out our guy's ridiculously talented and what he's doing being an envoy is beyond me. I did it! Shutdown completed! Odo to Cisco. It seems your envoy knows his engineering systems. The Orinoco is out of danger. Well done. I'll have the envoy beam directly to us. Envoy Bannock, welcome to Deep Space Nine. I'm Captain Benjamin Sisko, commander of the station. May I introduce my second in command, Major Kira Narice, and my science officer, Lieutenant Jadzia Dax. Envoy Bannock, we almost lost you, Envoy. What exactly happened to you in the Orinoco? Some ships attacked me on the far side of the wormhole. Attacked you? Major, go to yellow alert. Shields up, activate station defenses. At once, Captain. Envoy Bannock, could you identify the craft that attacked you? Yes. As I came in, I noticed that they, or others of their type, are circling the station. With your permission, Captain, I'd like to have Odo verify the attack. Good idea, Major. Cisco to Odo. Constable, you have the situation under control? Yes, Captain. It won't fly any time soon, but... Are the ship logs intact? Lieutenant Dax would like to see them. Yes, Captain. Did Envoy Bannock inform you his ship was attacked? Yes, Constable. 
Can you confirm that? Phased disruptors, Captain, intelligently aimed. The anti-proton residue is unmistakable. I'm sending what's left of the ship's records to you now. Thank you, Constable. Cisco out. Envoy, this attack has serious implications. These craft arrived with the aliens you and Ambassador Carrick must negotiate with. Before we alert the Ambassador, we must be absolutely certain that these drone craft attacked the Orinoco. Please step over to join Lieutenant Dax. Captain, is Ambassador Carrick here on the station? Yes, he's in his quarters, anxiously anticipating your arrival. I believe he needs assistance with the aliens. Which aliens are these, Captain? Pardon me, Envoy. Of course you haven't been briefed. The aliens call themselves the Scythians. It's a first contact situation. Ambassador Carrick can tell you more about them. Now I'll join Dax. Thanks, Captain. So as you can see, DS9's pretty faithfully recreated and looks fairly good for a 1996 game anyway, but uh, things do get worse. Lieutenant, you have something to show me? Yes, Envoy. This is the playback of the station log. It's like the characters aren't brilliantly rendered, but they'll do. Yeah, I hope you were noticing that's one of those ships that attacked us, alright. Tell me about that large ship. That's the vessel that brought the Scythian delegation to Deep Space Nine. The ship itself carries no weapons of any sort. No weapons at all? That's unusual. It's possible the small ships, the drones, act as bodyguards. They followed the Scythian ship here and then began to circle the station. And more and more of them keep appearing. Quite a little entourage. Those small ships? They're drones, actually. Robotic craft. No life forms on board any of them. How many drones are there now? The plasma storm makes it difficult to keep track. They've been coming through the wormhole regularly since the delegation ship arrived. None of them have come too close to the station. They're just hovering outside the shield perimeter. They remind me of a pack of Norsican viper wolves. When was this recorded? About 62 hours ago, Envoy. Just before the plasma storm surrounded the station. Those smaller ships look almost exactly like the ones that fired on me. Captain, the envoy believes he was attacked by the Scythian drones. We'll verify that from his ship logs. This is the log we retrieved from your ship's computer. Parts of the records are damaged. Evasive maneuvers. Damage report. Cut impulse. Heading one zero. Full verse in. There. I'm beginning an analysis. Let's get some answers, Lieutenant. I don't understand. The drones here have been completely docile. They had every opportunity to strike during the evacuation. Evacuation? The plasma storm. We had to clear. The match is positive, Captain. This drone is configured exactly the same as those now surrounding Deep Space Nine. What caused it to attack, Lieutenant? The Orinoco probably violated their alert zone. Their response? They attacked. Major. Contact Ambassador Carrick. We must have a serious talk with our Scythian friends. Lieutenant, analyze the drone behavior further. Why are they here? Impossible to tell. The plasma storm... Captain Carrick is in his room, but he doesn't respond. Envoy, if you could go to the habitat ring and rouse the Ambassador. Captain, elevated neutrino levels. Something's coming through the wormhole. Envoy, belay that request. Lieutenant? It's a drone. Unmanned. Different. Sending out a signal. Captain, the drones are responding. It's an attack formation. Red alert. Phasers lock on. Dax, get me the Scythian ship. Hailing. Captain, the Scythian leader. Sir, our sensors indicate that your drones are taking up attack positions. What is the meaning of this? Attack? We will be forced to destroy the drones. Captain, we can't lock on. The plasma storm. Defend. Destroy. You want us to destroy? Hit a number one shield. Damn this storm. We're going to manual targeting. Everybody take a station. Bannock, you'll control bank five. Stand by. But Envoy Bannock is a diplomat. With a weapons proficiency rating of eight. Major, release bank five to Bannock. The bank is on manual targeting, Bannock. Releasing phasers to your control. Now! Yeah, so we're an engineer and a badass tactical officer as well. So much for diplomacy, I'll see you in part two.